In this uh, video tutorial, we're going to take a look at doing a little customization to WooCommerce where the product description title and product uh, tab title are, which out of the box default, this is a website I'm working on here, I have description and product description is what comes up. So, you know, especially with pets, I don't want to call a pet a product, right? So I think probably the best way to handle this would be use the title that I did put for the product on the back end, which is for this instance, Border Collar Puppies, but it can be any title, any product. And we're going to do that with a code snippet. Uh, I'm also going to change the description tag, but I'm going to change it back as well because I don't really want the title there, but you can, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to use a couple filters here. So we're going to use a couple filters here. Uh, one, this filter right here has to do with the WooCommerce product tabs. And we're going to change the description to the uh, product title here. And the second one has to do with a uh, description heading, which was this part right here, description heading. This is the description tag, description heading. We're going, I'm going to want to change that to the title. Instead of product description, we'll have a title description there. So we're going to add these two filters. We're going to do them one at a time. This one here is for the tabs. Now, you don't want to add these filters. You want to make sure you have a functions PHP set up in your child theme for this. Don't add it to your normal functions PHP for the main theme because, you know, the first time you update it, it's going to get overwritten. That's not going to be any good. So be sure to set up child theme. If you don't know how, I do have a video to show you exactly how to do that listed here on YouTube, and I will leave a link below for that. So we're going to change the tab here to be the title. And see, there we go. And we're going to use this code snippet. And by the way, the code snippets will be at my website. I will leave a link below for those as well. We'll add another filter. We'll add it right below there. Let me see. Right here. And that's updated. And... There we go. We now have border collar puppies, or it could be on any product. For example, we'll go look at uh, it's another one. Say a key to puppies, and see it. There it is too. Now I don't want to tab you. I want to leave just just like it was. It said description. I just did that so we I could show you it, that it does work. So I'm gonna take that back out. Update. Refresh, and we're back to description, and that's really all there is to it. I want a special shout out goes to uh, GerhardPortiger.com's website. I'll leave a link. He was the inspiration for this. He's the one that left, left the code snippet, and I thought I'd make a video about it. Visit SkeetersZ71.com. If you like this video and if it helped you, how about giving me a like, share the video, leave a comment, or any uh, any combination of three, and visit www.skeeterz71.com for more free video tutorials, many of which are not on YouTube, that has to do with web and graphic design. And you have a good day.